Nikon enthusiasts and professional photographers may have reason to get excited again. Rumors are swirling that Nikon is preparing to release a camera that could once more redefine the rules of professional mirrorless photography. Following the success of the legendary Nikon Z9, a camera that firmly closed the debate between mirrorless and DSLR for many, the company appears ready to make another bold move. Nearly three years after the Z9's groundbreaking debut, insiders suggest that Nikon's next flagship, the Nikon Z9 II, could be poised to shake up the mirrorless world all over again. The anticipation is high, and speculation about the Z9 II is spreading rapidly. In this breakdown, we'll explore everything currently known, from rumored design improvements and performance upgrades to the potential implications for Nikon's strategy in 2025 and beyond. If the leaks hold true, the Z9 II could be Nikon's answer to the increasingly competitive high-end mirrorless market dominated by Sony, Canon, and Panasonic. Let's take a moment to look back. When Nikon introduced the Z9 in 2021, it represented a bold statement. The camera featured a fully electronic shutter, a 45.7 megapixel stack sensor, and the ability to shoot 20 frames per second while maintaining continuous autofocus. Its autofocus system was so sophisticated it could track eyes, animals, and even planes in flight. The Z9 wasn't just impressive on paper, it fundamentally changed expectations for professional mirrorless cameras, challenging Sony's Alpha 1 and Canon's R3 head-on. In many ways, Nikon had leapfrogged its competitors, creating a camera that appealed to both sports photographers and cinematographers. However, the landscape has changed significantly since 2021. Sony has refined its hybrid cameras, Canon has strengthened its position in the sports and events space, and Panasonic has pushed deeper into the cinema video market. Nikon, in contrast, has remained relatively quiet. But as history shows, periods of silence often precede major innovation. The company has been working behind the scenes, and early reports suggest the Z9 II could be its most ambitious camera yet. From a design standpoint, the Z9 II is not expected to stray too far from the Z9 formula. Nikon has perfected the integrated grip and rugged, weather-sealed body of the Z9, and these elements are likely to carry over. However, the Z9 second of may be lighter, more ergonomic, and better balanced for long shooting sessions, making it more comfortable for professionals who shoot for extended periods. The body may feel leaner without sacrificing the robustness that has made the Z9 a reliable tool for demanding environments. One of the most exciting rumored upgrades is the viewfinder. Reports suggest the Z9 II could feature a staggering 9 million dot EVF with a 240Hz refresh rate. Such a viewfinder would offer nearly zero lag and an incredibly clear, lifelike image, essentially feeling like looking through a window. For hybrid content creators, the rear LCD could finally become fully articulating, providing far more flexibility for low-angle, high-angle, and vertical shooting. Small changes like these can have a significant impact on usability, especially for videographers and solo shooters. Performance-wise, the Z9 second of may retain a sensor in the 45 to 50 megapixel range but introduce faster readout speeds and possibly a dual processor setup. This could reduce rolling shutter effects, improve burst shooting, and allow the camera to achieve over 30 frames per second with full autofocus tracking. If these rumors are accurate, the Z9 II would surpass even some of Sony's most capable mirrorless cameras in speed and tracking performance. Autofocus improvements are another area where Nikon may push the envelope. Building on the Z9's deep learning AF system, the Z9 II could introduce a next-generation system capable of locking onto subjects even in challenging conditions, through foliage, low-light, or unpredictable movement. Precision tracking could extend to humans, animals, and vehicles, giving photographers unprecedented confidence when capturing fast-moving subjects in dynamic environments. Video capabilities are rumored to be equally impressive. Early leaks suggest the Z9 II could support 8K recording at up to 120 frames per second, coupled with enhanced color science, improved dynamic range, and superior heat management. For professional filmmakers, these improvements could mean cinematic quality footage without the need for additional cooling rigs or external recorders. The camera could appeal to hybrid shooters who demand a single body that performs flawlessly for both stills and video, reducing the need for multiple cameras on set. Connectivity and workflow enhancements are reportedly a key focus for Nikon as well. Dual CF Express Type-B slots, longer battery life, and possibly faster Wi-Fi or built-in 5G could allow for near-instant file transfers, making the Z9 II an attractive option for photojournalists, broadcasters, and content creators who need to deliver work quickly. 
In today's fast-paced media environment, efficient workflow is as critical as raw performance. A camera that combines high-speed capture, intelligent autofocus, and seamless connectivity could become the ultimate hybrid tool for professionals. While the Z9 second of maybe Nikon's headline-grabbing flagship, rumors also suggest that the company is working on a complementary high-resolution body, the Z7 III. This model appears aimed at photographers who prioritize image quality over sheer speed. Following the Z7 lineage, the Z7 third of may focus on delivering exceptional resolution, dynamic range, and color fidelity, while still incorporating modern usability and autofocus improvements. For landscape, portrait, and studio photographers, this camera could offer a much-needed update, especially for those who have been waiting for a successor to the Z72. Insider Chatter paints the Z7 III as a careful evolution rather than a radical redesign. Expect a body footprint similar to the Z72 but with a beefier grip, enhanced weather sealing, and a rear-tilting touchscreen that is more reliable for both tripod and handheld use. Dual card slots, a thoughtful button layout, and durable construction are likely to remain priorities, as professional photographers notice and depend on these details. Ergonomic tweaks such as improved thumb contours, grip texture, and hand-dressed adjustments can transform long shooting sessions from exhausting to manageable without changing how a photographer frames their shots. Sensor rumors for the Z7 III vary. Some suggest a notable resolution bump, while others believe the focus will be on smarter processing and advanced autofocus rather than chasing megapixel numbers. Expected improvements could include more consistent eye and subject detection, enhanced animal tracking, faster buffer clearing, and in-body stabilization that genuinely aids handheld shooting in low light or for landscapes. On the video side, practical 4K options with useful frame rates and manageable codecs could streamline workflows without generating unwieldy file sizes, appealing to hybrid shooters who need professional results without post-production headaches. Pricing and positioning will be crucial for the Z7 III. If Nikon targets a $3,000 price point, the camera could attract professionals seeking a high-resolution alternative without competing directly with the Z8. This would give photographers a pro-level tool in a more compact and accessible package. Price it too high, and it risks narrowing its audience, as buyers may compare it against other high-resolution models from Sony or Canon. A balanced approach, offering excellent image quality, modern autofocus, and thoughtful ergonomics at a fair price, could make the Z7 III a standout choice in Nikon's lineup. Ultimately, both the Z9 II and Z7 III seem designed to demonstrate that Nikon remains a force in professional photography and videography. The Z9 II would assert dominance in speed, autofocus, and hybrid performance, while the Z7 III would cater to those who prioritize image quality and usability. Together, these cameras could cover a wide spectrum of professional needs, from fast action sports and wildlife to studio work and cinematic filmmaking. If the rumors hold, Nikon is not just releasing new cameras, they are making a statement, they are still innovating and shaping the future of mirrorless photography. In conclusion, Nikon appears poised to make a dramatic comeback with the Z9 II and Z7 III. Both cameras reflect a strategy of careful evolution, combining proven design principles with cutting-edge technology. By addressing the needs of both fast-action and high-resolution photographers, Nikon could once again redefine expectations for mirrorless cameras. If these leaks and rumors hold true, the Z9 II and Z7 III won't just be updates, they will be game-changers, showing the world that Nikon remains at the forefront of professional imaging in 2025 and beyond.